in today's tutorial i'll be sharing with you guys how to make a princess that bustier pattern we have two types of princess that bustier pattern we have the shoulder that and we have the armhole that okay those are the two basic ones we normally use in africa i guess so in today's tutorial i'll be sharing with you how to make the armhole princess that bustier pattern so if this is why you're interested in learning please keep on watching and you want to Hit on the subscribe button in case you haven't subscribed turn on your post notifications so you get notified for whenever i upload a new video so guys on top of the table i have my pattern paper you can actually make use of a white pattern paper if you have that so i've marked out the starting points and this is going to serve as the shoulder line so from my from the top of my paper i came down by one inch and made this line okay now again I, I know you'll be wondering why i have this center line on here now i want to be able to draft out both the front and back together so that you guys can see what i'm doing clearly and you don't get confused so that's why i've divided my hip circumference into two and then marked it out okay so my hip circumference divided by two is 22 inches my hip circumference is 44 now this is going to serve as a guide my pattern is not going to go down to the hip length but i'm just using this as a guide okay so what i did here was my hip 44 divided by two i have 22 inches okay plus extra allowances because i need about two inches for my dart intake and then two inches for sewing allowance i hope you guys understand so i added extra inches to this 22 inches okay so let's take it so that you guys can understand what i'm trying to explain so from here to this point you can see it's 28 inches okay from here to here so what i have on this side of the line is 14 and you see from here to here is 14 and then from here to here is 14 now and this is going to serve as our center front this is going to serve as our center back so now remember i've marked down to one inch shoulder line now i'm going to place my tape vertically and then mark out the bust points the under bust points and the waist now this is going to be a half scale pattern half scale means from my shoulder to the waist okay now these are the measurements we are going to be using i'm going to be making use of shoulder 15 inches bust circumference of 39 under bust circumference of 36 waist circumference of 38 inches now all these measurements i'm going to divide it by four from the bust to waist and the shoulder i'm going to divide it by two now you also need your vertical measurements okay which are the shoulder to the bust point shoulder to the under bust point and then shoulder to the waistline you as well need your front length and your back length okay to measure your front length you have to take your tape from the shoulder down to the waist and then for the back length move over to the back of your client and measure from the shoulder to the waist okay our front length and the back length is usually two to three inches different so what i have here for my front length is 17 inches and then the back length is 15 so the differences are two okay so 17 minus 15 is two so the difference between my front length and the back length is two inches now let's get started from the shoulder points i'm going to mark down to the bust point 10 so this is my bust point whatever it is that you have as your bust point go ahead and apply it okay don't use my own body measurements now from the shoulder to the under bust for mine is 14 and then from the shoulder to the waist mine is 17 and this is my front length okay so i have 17 inches and i'm going to draw my lines across now after this i'm going to repeat the same thing for the back so this is what i have for the front bust 
under busts and then the waist. Now I'll move over to this side. And because this is for the back, we are going to apply the zipper allowance, okay? So from this center back, I'm going to mark in two inches from the center back. You can see what I'm doing. Now, after that, I'm going to, from the shoulder line, remember this is the shoulder line for the back, and then I'm going to label this the zipper allowance. Now, from this point, I'm still going to mark down to the bust point 10 inches. Okay, now we don't need the under bust point because this is the back. And then, from here, I'm going to mark 15 inches for the waist. Now, this is the length of the back. And then I'll connect. So you can see what I have here, that the difference between the front length and the back length is two inches. Can you see? So I'm going to connect this point. Now, after this nest, I'm going to, from the center front, okay, on the shoulder line, divide my shoulder into two. So, my shoulder is 15 inches, remember? Now, from this point, I'm going to divide my shoulder into two. And that would give me 7.5 inches. Now, I'm going to mark it. Okay. Now, after marking it, because I want to have my seam allowance on this pattern, I'm going to add up half an inch seam allowance for the armhole joining, okay? Now, if you don't want to add your seam allowance, you go ahead and place just the 7.5 inches. But now, I'm going to add half an inch, making it 8 inches, okay? Now, after that, I'm going to repeat the same thing for the back. I'm going to mark eight inches so from this zipper allowance line i'm going to place my tape okay so let me take my tape like this i'm going to place my tape and mark eight inches now from here i'll move over to the shoulder point and then i will be going down by one inch for the shoulder slope because our shoulder spine is not straight. So remember, whatever I do for the front, I'll repeat the same thing for the back. Now, you can actually, for the front shoulder slope, use 1.5 inches and then use 1 inch for the back, okay? But now I want to use the same thing for both the front and the back, which is 1 inch. Now, after that, I'm going to come over to this point and then mark out my neck width and the neck depth for the front. Now, I'm going to use the standard of 3 inches. Now, it depends on the type of neckline that you want to use. Okay, so endeavor to ask your clients what type of neckline she wants. And it also depends on the size of the client. But for this particular pattern, I'm going to be using 3 by 3 inches for the front neck depth and the neck width. So I'm going to mark, and then I'll use my curve to connect these points together. So now that I have this, I'm going to connect this into the shoulder slope. And then move over to the back and repeat the same thing, okay? Now for the back neck width, I'm going to use three inches because the neck width for the front and the back is the same. And then for the depth, I'm going to use the standard of one inch. And now I'm going to connect this together.
And to connect it, I'm going to extend the line to the zipper allowance. You can see. Now, after that, I'm going to connect the neck width of the back into the shoulder slope. So, you guys, you can see that this is very simple. Next, I'm going to move over to this point. And then I'll place my tape on this line to the shoulder slope. And next thing I want to do is find my armhole depth, okay? To find your armhole depth, I'm going to use the bust circumference divided by 6 plus 1.5 inches. Now, my bust circumference is 39 inches. I'm going to divide it by 6, and it gives me 6.5. Now, this 6.5, I'm going to add 1.5 inches to it, and it will give me 8. Okay, so I'm going to mark it. And now, to be sure that I have my shoulder divided by 2 here, I'm going to come to this point and then mark it out. And then connect these two points together. Now, you guys, this line automatically becomes our chest line, okay? That is to say that from the bust point to the chest line here is one inch apart. So I'm going to label this the chest line. And then I'll simply repeat the same thing for the back. Now, I'm going to mark eight inches. And then connect from here to here. So guys, you can see what we have. Now, next thing we want to do is move over to the front. And I'm going to divide my armhole depth into two. So from here to here is eight. So the middle is going to be four inches. I'm going to mark. And then for the front, I'm going to come in by half an inch. Okay. Now I'm going to repeat the same thing for the back. I'm going to mark four and then leave it this way. Okay. Now after that, I'm going to move over to the bust point. On the chest line, I'm going to divide my bust circumference by four. And it's going to give me... 9.75 i'm going to mark now after marking this i usually love to add half an inch for armhole ease like you want to free the underarm so that you'll be able to raise your arm properly well now after that what i have for my chest line i'm going to input it on the bust point two which is 9.75 and then i'm going to move down to the under bust and then divide my under bust circumference by four so my under bust circumference is 36 inches divided by four i have nine i'm going to mark and then i'll move over to the waistline and divide my waist circumference by four which is 38 divided by four and i'll have 9.5 inches i'll mark now i'm going to connect this point together and then repeat the same thing for the back so you see what we have and then now i'm going to connect my arm hook now i'm going to repeat the same thing for the back on the chest line i'm going to mark nine points 75 plus half for ease. Now I'm going to repeat this 9.75 on the bust. And then going down to the waistline, I'm going to input 9.5 inches. Okay. And then I'm going to connect the points together. So guys, you can see what we have. Next, I'm going to come over to the front. And then I'll be dividing 
my nipple to nipple measurement by four now my nipple to nipple measurement is eight okay the nipple to nipple measurement is from one nipple point to the other okay so mine is eight whatever you have go ahead and input that so from the center front here i'm going to mark four inches now i need half an inch for sewing allowance so i'll input 4.5 inches now i'm going to also input that on the under bust point and then on the waist now i'm going to go ahead and connect these points together and then i'll move over to the back again and repeat the same thing now for the back i don't need to input the half an inch okay now you have to understand that this half an inch is for joining the bustiers together okay which is the center front and the side front okay now i'm going to input this four which is my nipple to nipple measurement divided by so you are still going to understand why i didn't add half an inch here because after cutting this out i'm going to add up the half an inch on our pattern or if i'm cutting on fabric now i'm going to mark four inches and connect these points together are you see now guys after that i'm going to move over to the front again and next thing i want to do now is take out my dart from the under bust and the waistline okay now i'm going to be making use of that of two inches okay so what i'm going to do now is on the side front i'm going to mark 1.5 inches okay and then here i'm going to take half now i'll move over to the waistline and then i'll input the same thing 1.5 inches and then half on this side so i'll go ahead and connect these points together and then next thing i want to do now is come to this point and what i'll do next is come down by half an inch okay now what this does is it helps our boobs to accommodate properly well and eliminate any form of sharp curve around the bust area okay now after that i'm going to equally raise this up by half an inch okay and then i'll connect this to this and this to this using my curve So you can see the way i placed my cup now you guys we are going into why we are calling this the ample princess that boast here okay so on this point i'm going to go ahead and measure what i have so i guess you guys can see what i'm doing i see so once i get to this line i'm going to stop and what i have there is 9.75 so what i'm going to do is divide this 9.75 into two now after dividing it by two i'm going to place it again like this and then i'm going to mark it okay now after marking it i'm going to come to this point and then come down by half an inch and then also go out by half an inch so i'm taking out half an inch from both sides now i'm going to connect this to this okay all these three lines i'm going to connect it to this half an inch above the bust point all right so i'm going to do that using my cuff So guys you can see what i just did and then to connect this point i'm going to make sure i don't have any 
form of curve sharp curve around there so i'm going to use this curve and blend it up like this so you guys can see what i have right here now because of this dart that i removed from here i'm going to replace it back okay so i'm going to raise it up by one inch because if i don't do that by the time we are joining the center front and the side front together okay what happens is that one of it gets to short and that would be the side front so that's why we are raising up this side front by one inch okay so i'm going to go ahead and raise it up and then connect it back so now we have our new ample and then i'm going to connect this back into this line can you see so you can see we have our new ample now what happens is i'm going to cancel this particular ample okay so our new ample is now on this side now what i'm going to do next is go ahead and also replace this one inch to this side and after that i'm going to add my seam allowance okay so i'm going to make use of two inches for my seam allowance and after that i'm going to move over to this point which is the under bust and then remember that we removed two inches from here i'm going to replace these two inches and then add two inches for my sewing allowance you guys i don't know if you're hearing any noise it is raining here okay now again i'm going to replace these two inches that i took out from here and then add two inches for my sewing allowance now guys as you can see the noise is too much so we have to switch over to voiceover so what i will do next is go ahead and connect all the points together and after that i'll go ahead and connect my new armhole properly well okay now after this remember that the difference between the front length and the back length is two inches so what i'm going to do now is on the bust points i'll go ahead and come down by these two inches and place my mark and then connect it to the bust area just like this now you guys you can see let's move over to the back to add up our waist that okay now on the waist of my back i'm going to take in one inch on both sides that means i'm taking in two inches for my waist that and after that i'm going to connect it to the bust point now after that i will replace the one inch that i just marked out as my dart on the waistline again and because i don't have enough space on my paper you guys i'm going to leave it that way so when i'm cutting out i'm going to add up my seam allowances okay so i'm going to connect it into the chest line and then you guys we move over to the zipper allowance now to modify our zipper allowance because we don't want any form of bulging around the zip i'm going to go in by one inch on the waistline like this and connect it to the neck now after that i will simply from this one inch okay mark out two inches for my zipper allowance again and then connect it to the neck okay so this is how to modify your zipper allowance to avoid any form of bulging now after this i will now go ahead and cut out my front and the back pattern but before that let me add up my half an inch for shoulder sewing allowance Now you can see i'm done marking out my shoulder sewing allowance half an inch so i'm going to connect my lines properly well and then we cut out our pattern
so guys you can see i'm done cutting out and to the bus that i'm going to go ahead and open it up and after opening it up i'm going to use a masking tape if i have a masking tape to close it up like this but here i'm making use of my pins so whichever you have go ahead and use it to close it up and then cut it out properly well so this is what we have for the center front and the side front now we are going to go ahead and cut out the back so guys i'm almost done with the back pattern now it is time for me to add up my sewing allowance because when i was drafting this out remember i told you guys that the paper wasn't enough the space i was supposed to add in my sewing allowance wasn't enough so i'm going to bring in another paper then use my tape to hold it down as you can see me doing like this now after holding it down i'm going to cut out the damp part okay so i'm going to cut it through like this and then after that i'm going to add up my two inches sewing allowance so on the bust point i'm going to add two inches and then on the waistline i'm going to add up two inches and then connect it together after connecting the lines i'm going to go ahead and continue with the cutting now guys you can see we are done with the back block and here is our front so guys this is exactly how to cut out your armhole princess that boasts your blouse it is very simple and i hope you guys find this tutorial helpful if you do don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up i will see you guys in my next tutorial bye